Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to write a DML trigger in Oracle whenever user trying to update the salary of the employee and that is the value with the less than 2000. I want to generate the error and that is the error is minimum salary must be 2000. And also I want to show the insert and update after disabling the trigger as well as after creating the trigger. So let's do the same thing practically. So first of all, you need to create the trigger that is create or replace trigger. And here you can write the name of the trigger. I'm writing the name of my trigger is employee salary trigger. Now whenever user update the value of the salary. So I need to mention here that is before insert or update of salary on which table the table is employee on employee for each row it means that for every row it will be reflected i'm writing here that is begin and and now whenever user inserting or updating the new value so that value you can access using the colon new pseudo column so you can write here that is if colon new dot salary that is less than 2000 then raise application error so you can write here that is raise application error you can mention the code i am writing the code here that is 20001 and here you can write the message that is minimum salary must be 2000 and here you can write semicolon and here you can write that is and if so now trigger is ready you can just copy all this statement and you can write over here in plsql and you will get the message trigger is created now whenever user trying to update the value of salary and that is less than 2000 you will get an error for example let me try update employee set salary is equal to for example 1900 where employee number is equal to that is 7902 and i am getting the error and that is minimum salary must be 2000 now i cannot update the salary that is less than 2000 that is applicable to insert also for example if user is trying to insert the data for example insert into employee employee number name and for example salary the value is that is values 4 times 1 for example now i am writing the name and the name is for example taste and I'm providing the salary, for example, 1999. And here I'm just writing enter. It says that minimum salary must be 2000. But if you are trying to insert the value and that is greater than or equal to 2000, then definitely record will be inserted. So here you can insert the record if the value is greater than or equal to 2000. Same thing you can do with the constraint also. But what is the difference between trigger and constraint? In constraint, the data is always consistent. And in trigger, you can disable the trigger. For example, here, I'm not able to insert the record over here that is 1999. But I will be able to insert the record if the trigger is disabled. For example, I'm writing here that is altered trigger. And here you can write the name of the trigger. For example, employee salary trigger. And you can write here disable. So whenever you disable the trigger, the trigger will be disabled and you will be able to insert the data. For example, I'm writing here data that is 3112 and the data is a taste one. And now I'm writing the salary that is 1399. It says that one record created. It means that you can disable the trigger and you can insert the data. And suppose if you enable the trigger, then the same record will not be able to insert. For example, let me try and let me write here that is 3113 and if I'm writing test 2, it says that minimum salary must be 2000. So in case of trigger, the data will be consistent even only if the trigger is enabled. But in case of constraint, the data will be always consistent. So this is what the difference between the trigger and constraint. So this is the way you can write the DML trigger in Oracle. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.